people. Happy Hump Day. Hello, everyone. It is the amazing leg day in the studio today, which I'm super pumped, of course. Who doesn't like a good bum, right? If you don't want a good bum, you can go ahead and not watch this live. But here in the studio, we're really excited because it's leg day, of course. We hit it hard because we want a good, strong bum. Regardless, enough about bumps. I wanted to hop in here and kind of talk about adapting to whatever is going on and whatever is thrown at you at, uh, at will, really. There's only so many things we can actually predict or even control in this world, but here's the deal. You can control your own actions. You can control what is around you. If you don't like something, you don't have to be around it. It is a choice all together. I know a lot of people right now are even blaming COVID for not doing certain things, but here's the deal. If we all acted that way, nothing would get done on a regular basis. Think about that one. If none of us adapted, overcame the obstacle, you know, Im improvised it and figured it out, we would all be dead. There would be no food, no one would be running the grocery stores, there would be no essential workers, there would be no, literally nothing left. So, what is really stopping you from adapting and overcoming and figuring out your next goal to get to the other side? Because you cannot use COVID. I'm taking it off the table. Boom, boom, no more. Because I don't care. And here's a, here's a great example how people are overcoming everywhere. You know, even things like um, speed dating. I know, I know some of you have probably never gone to speed dating. It is actually pretty funny and cool. So if you ever get the chance, definitely do it. Um, it is a, a great time. So speed dating, for those that don't know what it is, is you go into a room full of strangers and you have a certain amount of time to, to meet them, talk to them, and then they ring a little bell and then you go on to the next person. You can meet like anywhere from 20 to 30 people in like a half a night. So it, it kind of works out, it's kind of cool. Anyway, because people can't meet in large groups right now, the company for speed dating is adapting and overcoming this whole speed dating and bringing it to the next level. And they're doing it on Zoom. How cool is that, right? Because you know what? It doesn't matter COVID or not. You gotta find some love somehow, right? Right? But, and then the second part of it, when they finally find their dates, they can do dates through Zoom and then figure out when they would like to meet later on. How amazing in that is to adapt and overcome and figure out another way to do something. What in your life that you are adapting to and overcoming that obstacle. I'm sure there's plenty of things right now. I, I'm sure there's a lot of people that started working from home. They have obstacles in their house, but they still have to be able to work. I know myself when I did work a corporate job and I worked remotely, um, no one was allowed in my space. It was, it was a corporate contract. We could not, we had to lock ourselves into our offices and continue on the way. And we had to adapt in that remote situation as well. Same thing with my current situation, with my business. So you were afraid of COVID. Totally cool, I get it. But you know what? I can adapt to coaching you electronically and helping you through the way to get happy, healthy, and fit for life. This is a lifestyle. This isn't just about an excuse not to do something. We are helping people to help their immunity for life. And we will overcome so many other things, not just the COVID. So um, in a, a little bit, we're actually going to be doing an online class with people in person and people that aren't comfortable coming in, which is completely fine. I also have, we have also have other services that are completely 100% in line and some of them that are hybrid. So it allows for people that, for example, that do come in and then sometimes miss, miss classes because of daycare or work or whatever, they're actually able to get more workouts in. 
How amazing is that? I would say 80% of my clients have actually worked out more since the shutdown. How amazing is that? That is quite the adoption, don't you think? Screw with the, the dinosaurs, they did not adapt, right? We are not gonna do that. We are gonna adapt, overcome, improvise, right? Right, you know? Um, and it's, it's not just about staying still. It's about taking what is given to us right now, working with it, moving forward, and moving over to the hump to actually get your goals accomplished at the end of the day, no matter what. Because all of our coaching calls can be done on the phone, on Zoom, on Facebook Live, and through text. This is a lifestyle coach. And I'm sure you have adapted other things. For example, speed dating. It's completely done online. People are Zooming their, their, uh, their family members. Pretty cool. I, my parents didn't even know how to use Zoom in the beginning of this. Uh, people are adapting to different ways of lifestyles. And you know what? In some cases, it's actually a better lifestyle for some of their family members. And they're actually figuring out what is truly at the core of what their inner beliefs are. What truly means the fullness of them. What they should be spending their time on too. I can think about a handful of people that said, you know what, my job really sucked. And you know what, COVID told me I needed to, to go a different direction, which is pretty cool. You know? But regardless, you need to move forward. We will all get through this. It, uh, sometimes it does seem like a lonely place, the world. Um, there's a lot of negative things out there. But as a business person that puts herself out there for complete criticism, which I hear all the time, you have to keep your chin up. You do control your surroundings. You do control what you put in your mouth. And you do control what's right here. So regardless of what you are going through and what is surrounding you, keep on going. You can do it. Regardless of what blocks are you with, let's break it up into small bits, make an action plan, and do. Do not hope, because you will be hopeless. Action. Remember Mr. Yoda? Exactly. Just do not try. Just do. So with that being said, go out and forth, do some awesome stuff, and adapt and overcome. Talk to you later. Have a good Wednesday. Bye.